CDL exam prep 2022 through 2023, page 94, air brakes test continued, number 25, which of the following is not an inspection procedure for air brakes? A, inspect engine compartments, B, walk around and focus on checking the vital parts, C, inspect the disc linings, or D, inspect the hose? The answer is... B, walk around and focus on checking the vital parts. Option B is not an inspection procedure for air brakes. The whole system, not just the vital parts, needs to be inspected in an air brake. No part is too small to overlook. Every part plays a useful role that affects the whole system. So walk around the vehicle and take note of the smallest details. If you notice any components are faulty, repair or replace them as soon as possible. Page 95, doubles and triples test. One, number one, how do you prevent roll over risk? A, drive slowly into curves. B, stop abruptly when there is danger in front. C, increase your speed to maintain balance. Or D, quickly change lanes when necessary. The answer is A, drive slowly into curves. To avoid a rollover, drive slowly when taking a curve and ensure the cargo is not far from the ground. Do not change lanes abruptly. Fast driving causes rollovers. Steering gently helps prevent a crack the whip tilting of your trailer. Be gentle when pulling over and never make a sudden move. Number two, when pulling doubles and triples, you should blank. A, be vigilant. B, keep your eyes on the road. C, manage space. Or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Your mind and physical body need to be alert and always expecting the worst. Do not let down your guard. Keep your eyes on the road. Watch out for speed bumps, traffic, curves, and other unforeseen factors that may pose an obstacle to the smooth movement of the double and triple trailers. Also, maintain a good distance between you and other vehicles. Number three, how do you stop doubles and triples? A, abruptly. B, slowly. C, very fast. Or D, don't stop them. The answer is B, slowly. I see why everybody's tagging me. Up, got a door that doesn't fit, not a problem. It takes a few seconds before doubles and triples can be fully stopped. Therefore, 
Do not get too close to other vehicles. Maintain a good distance or space. Do not hurry to cross traffic. First, confirm if the space is long enough for your double or triple vehicle. Unlike other kinds of commercial vehicles, doubles and triples occupy more space on the road because they are so long. Page 96. Number four. What should you do if the weather is bad? A. Wait for it to clear. B. Quickly drive out of the weather. C. Follow the shortest route out. Or D. All of the above. The answer is A. Wait for it to clear. If the weather conditions are not ideal for driving, you should either wait for conditions to clear up or be extra careful on the road. Slippery roads and fog often lead to accidents. A double and triple vehicle requires greater skills in these adverse conditions. Number five, how should you park doubles and triples? A, in a tight corner. B, in an area you can pull out from. C, any way you like. Or D, only in an enclosed parking area. The answer is B, in an area you can pull out from. Where and how you park your vehicle is very important. You should park your vehicle in an area that you can easily pull out from. Assess the parking space to see if it is a fit for your vehicle. Careless parking may lead to difficulty when pulling out. Number six, which of the following is not a step in inspecting the air brakes of doubles and triples? A, checking the flow of air. B, inspecting the tractor control slash protection valve. C, inspecting the emergency brakes of the trailer. Or D, checking the steering wheel. The answer is D, checking the steering wheel. Option D is incorrect. When inspecting the air brakes of doubles and triples, you should check the flow of air, inspect the tractor control slash protection valve, Inspect the trailer's emergency brakes and inspect the trailer's service brakes. These steps are to be combined with the steps for inspecting combination vehicles. Page 97. Number 7. When you go to the rear of the rig and open the closed valve of the emergency line, what should you hear if you listen attentively? A. Combustion B. 
the engine sound. C, the sound of escaping air. Or D, a ringing bell. The answer is C, the sound of escaping air. When you go to the rig at the rear and open the closed valve of the emergency line, you should hear the sound of escaping air if you listen attentively. This shows that you have supplied power to the system. After this, you can shut the valve of the emergency line and free up the service line. Number eight, a brake leak signifies that blank. A, there is not enough engine oil. B, there is an escape of air. C, the tractor protection valve is malfunctioning. Or D, the storage tank is empty. The answer is C, the tractor protection valve is malfunctioning. When there is a malfunction in the tractor protection valve, there could be a brake leak in which the air transported from the tractor is released. This makes the emergency brakes pop out. If care is not taken, there might be a loss of control of the vehicle. Number nine, what is the first thing you should do when inspecting the service brakes? A, keep the air pressure normal. B, close the parking brake. C, quickly drive the vehicle. Or D, release the trailer's brakes. The answer is A. Keep the air pressure normal. When inspecting the trailer's service brakes, uh, first ensure that the air pressure is normal. Uh, then open the parking brakes. Gently drive the vehicle to the front. Then press the trailer's brakes using the trolley valve or hand control you will observe that the brakes begin to come up 